Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stamp and Jill creative team. Today I'm excited to share with you a suite that's in the new mini catalog. It's this super cute Be Mine suite, perfect for Valentine's Day. So I wanna show you all of the things that are in the suite and then I wanna give you a few tips to go with making one of these boxes. So the paper is always my favorite part and we've used this enough that I only have little pieces left. So you can kind of see them here. On the one side, like normal, you can see it's more of like a pattern, a little pattern. And then on the other side, there's different little bee patterns. So they're super cute, really fun paper. This honey one I love. And flowers, and just cute bees. So fun. And then there's also this really cute ribbon. And then the bundle, this is the Be My Valentine bundle. So it has this cute stamp set and the punch that coordinates with it and punches out this, this B. And then it has these two hearts. One is um, coordinates with the wings for the B and this other little one coordinates with its little antenna. So that's kind of a fun punch. There's also these really cute adhesive backed hearts and flowers in all these cute colors that coordinate with the paper. And then there's also these square pillow boxes that come just like this. Um, they come in a package of 10 and these fold up to be these cute little pillow boxes that you can put little treats in for your Valentine. So fun. So I wanna give you a few tips on how to do this box and show you how to make the bee as well. So one of the fun things that we discovered is that the deckled circles dies, these are a great staple um, to have in your die collection. The deckled circles, the very biggest circle in that die will fit just right perfectly on this square pillow box. So I've already cut one out this cute stripe, and I'm just gonna adhere that down. I'm gonna use Stampin' Seal Plus just so it gives it a little extra strength on that adhesive. And I'm just gonna do around the edges and then one little spot in the middle, and line that up just right in the center, just on that non-adhesive side. So you can see part of the box has these two spots that have adhesive already on it. Um, so I'm going to peel those off when I put the box together. Um, and you're going to put your deckled circle die on the other side. And then you're just going to kind of fold that paper along with the box, along the score lines that are already on the box makes it really easy to get that put together. So then I'm just going to peel off this pre-adhesive that's already on the box, just like that, and we're gonna put it together. I'm just gonna tuck those pieces in, and maybe I'll adhere one at a time. They just fold right up into each other. Just like that. Makes it really simple. And then you just fold that flat, that open side in on itself. And you have this super cute square box. So fun. So let's decorate that up. I have series paper from the Be Mine suite. And I'm just going to Put that down in my little background, just like that. And then let's create our bee. So I have just a little piece of white scrap and I'm going to stamp my bee. So you have the little oval for the bee's body and then you stamp the stripes right on top. So I'm gonna use Crush Curry and I'm just gonna stamp this off once. And when using this punch, you can see the B is kind of at the bottom. So I'm just gonna line that up right in the bottom area on the left-hand side of my paper. 
just like that. And then we'll stamp the stripes in black. And it's photopolymer, so it lines up so nicely. Whoop. Just like that. And then I'm going to punch this out. And then I'm going to stamp my other two images on this side. Okay. So I'm going to stamp in petal pink. I'm going to stamp my wings. And my wings, I like to stamp multiple times. You can just do the once, but I kind of like the look of them being kind of fluttery. So stamp it a couple of times and then when you punch it out, it kind of gives it a little bit of movement to your wings. Just like that. And then okay, and we're going to stamp our, stamp our antenna in black. Oh, one more time. That's better. And then we'll just slide that right in there. Punch that out. And I forgot to stamp my little face for my bee. The fun thing about this set is there's a few different faces you can choose for your bee. So you can give it whatever personality you want. Okay. Let's put this together. Some glue dots. Here are my things in my antenna. Like that. And then we'll put our B on. We'll pop them up. Dimensionals. Then we've got to add our saying, which I'm going to use the B mine. This cute little saying. Put that on. And a cute flower from our series. Let's see. One of these cute little white flowers. So cute. Be mine. You can make cute little valentines for your kids or for your kids class at school, grandkids. I've had so much fun playing with this Be Mine suite of products and these square pillow boxes are just so much fun and way easy to work with. And you can always use that deckled circles die to add a little bit of character with the designer series paper. So much fun. If you have any questions or for more Valentine's ideas, make sure you check our Instagram account at Stamping Jill or visit us on Facebook. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.